on the road again guys Sunday morning coming down it is about well it's not about it's 9 24 a.m. I'm headed to Oliver Lee State Park tonight but I got to stop in Alam and get gas and I just want to tell you well you're, you're probably seeing part of the, the RV roof the extension over the cab in the video because I to keep it from fuzzing up, I put it on 0.7x. But anyway, we are on the road again, and I'm glad I did this today because you know, it takes about 45 minutes you know, to get everything hooked up, checked, loaded, and all that stuff, you know? And uh, you know, particularly when you're using a tow dolly, and, uh, you know, and I've been living in it sitting for a month, and or well actually it's several months but when you get ready to move you got to put some stuff away and hopefully you can eliminate most of the rattles so yeah we're, we're, we're averaging 10 miles to the gallon exactly the temperature shows to be 75 degrees and this is Sunday September the 15th 2024 and we're on the road to Fort Clark Springs, Texas, to uh, see see the new home I bought. It'll be the first time I've seen it uh, for real, you know, other than on the internet. But you know, you can see it pretty good on the internet. I mean, I, I'm satisfied. And then the realtor that I deal with, I know her, and you know, she was telling me some things. So yeah, I, I feel pretty comfortable about the whole deal. But yeah, on the road again, how does it feel? It feels good. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's just the adventure, you know, cruising down the highway in my house pulling my car is not all bad and uh, so yeah I certainly don't need to be in a hurry you know uh, why because the actually check-in time at Oliver Lee State Park is 4 p.m. can you believe that who ever heard of that crap anyway enough said but uh, the the site I picked was not occupied last night nor was it occupied for the past few days so when I get there, the spot should be empty and I can pull on in and I'll do so. And then tomorrow, so today we've got, uh, you know, about a little over an hour, hour, but by the time you get to, uh, to the Auto Relief State Park, probably about an hour and a half. And, uh, and then by the time I stop and get gas, add a little bit of that. So I'm glad I knocked that out today because tomorrow uh, when I leave uh, to go through El Paso Fort Stock to Fort Stockton, it's about 300 miles. And of course I can, you know, pump it up to about 60 miles an hour on the interstate, which is, you know, fine. But, and that would give me, it would show, say, five hours, but you're not going to get that because I stop a couple of times for snacks or uh, breaks and stuff. So it'll be a full seven hour day for me tomorrow. Uh, and that's not all bad. And the good thing is, and the reason I went ahead and rented the spot at Oliver Lee, it cost me a whopping eight bucks for one night. Uh, well, it's four dollars. I have the state park pass, so it's four dollars a night for the water and electric site, but it's a four dollar reservation fee, also. So it's eight bucks. But that's not. I'm not. Gonna, am I going to complain about that? No, because when I get up in the morning, uh, you know, I can leave out of Oliver Lee State Park around 7:30 comfortably, and uh, yeah, you know, do come in, call, have some breakfast, chill out, stretch, take a short walk, you know. Uh, you know, live like a human, you know, and so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to do it over and over and over and over again, you know. Yeah, I feel pretty good being on the road. I mean, I know it's going to be hot the first week. I'm back at Fort Clark Springs. That's all right with me. We got, I got a central area heat unit, and uh, yeah, we'll be fine with that. And then next week it cools down a little bit, and then probably by the first of October we'll be in the upper 80s and you know, upper 60s. And, and the fall uh, weather in that part of Texas is muy bueno, very good, you know? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And as far as the winters, they vary dramatically, you know? But it's better than, or for me, better to me, than uh, I think Carrizozo. Even though I've never been in Carrizozo in the winter, I can look at the temperatures for uh, you know, by the day, say in December, January, and you know zero is not a good number, you know, for me. Uh, you know, ten, that's not great. 
so enough said about that so uh, I got all you know it's amazing I, <coughs> I took a few minutes to put some hand tie or washcloths between things that might rattle and stuff and knock on wood I must have done a good job because don't hear anything right now you know knock on well this is a smooth road here this is a good road here and uh, yeah the gas mileage went up to 10.1 yippee 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 and uh, so we'll pull in at Alamogordo we've got about a little over half a tank but <clears throat> this gas gauge will fool you you think it's got a 50 gallon tank so you think that when you got to half a tank you have about 25 gallon well that's not necessarily correct no because at a half a tank you'll add uh, 30 gallons to fill it up and 30 gallons at 250 a gallon is 75 bucks and 30 gallons at 320 a gallon is more you know 96 bucks whatever that figures out to be saves me a lot of money yeah whenever you're filling up a motorhome yeah a few cents a gallon makes is a pretty good savings but i mean don't drive yourself crazy to save a few pennies and on and on i go right but yeah i got me a little snack here got my green tea cakes are up you know, cakes on the griddle life ain't nothing but a funny funny riddle thank god i'm a country boy so guys from on the road again you're going to get probably a lot of driving videos for the next week <laughs> for this week anyway and uh, is that bad no it's fine guys yeah you can, but what you see right now it's like this all the way to uh uh fort clark springs same same it's just desert brushy stuff now we don't go through any forest on the way uh you know none we'll get around some areas where there'll be a few oak trees but other than that it's going to be pretty much like this and you know putting that thing on 0.7x not only eliminates the uh, fuzziness but it gives you kind of a, a fish eye or a wide angle view of uh, what's ahead and uh, you know I could turn the camera a little off to the right but the uh, holder doesn't really grip that well it's a mirror mount uh, phone holder and uh, it, it, well there's a piece of it missing you know, I've had it a long time but I just kind of stuck it up there and it's holding on pretty good right now yeah we're cruising along at 57 miles an hour 75 degrees outside all pressure looks good shows about uh, let's see what we got here that's about 35 pounds 38 pounds I guess I, that could be right maybe 40 uh, temperature 210 uh, a little over half a tank of gas volt meter shows 14 volts so we're good guys that's where the air conditioner runs yeah I don't know and you know I don't have serious radio in my RV or my car and you, as you know you're not going to get any AM FM radio stuff I, d I don't have a, a, a Bluetooth hooked up I don't plan to hook up my phone I mean I just ride down the highway uh, listen to the sound every now and then I'll hear something fall or whatever you know and I keep watch I keep watching in the mirror uh, to be sure the car is back there and uh, yeah that rear view camera makes the trip man because without that if you're towing something anything uh, you're just curious about what's going on back there you know and I tell you what I did one day I was doing a video like this a driving video and I, I looked at the, the, the camera and, and I couldn't see the car so I thought the car had had come loose and, and uh, then I realized a few seconds later that I was looking at the wrong camera duh you know when you get older you do some really dumb stuff and that's something else you know hooking up uh, a tow dolly and all that stuff and getting the car on and getting it tied down and stuff and getting it straight and all and all and you know and when you get a little older I'm 79 you, you have to kind of double and triple check and even then uh, even then uh, you might go one more time because if there's a little bolt or something that you're supposed to tighten or uh, something you're supposed to do you, you can easily overlook it but I, there's not a whole lot to do uh, hooking up a tow dolly once you get it hooked up drive the car on it and that's a trick too because you're getting it lined up just right you know so you're kind of in the center of the uh, tow dolly 
today I hit it the first time. I just pure luck. I just said, hell, go on up and let's see what happens. And, and it's fine. Yeah. So we did okay. So anyway, guys, from on the road again. I'm on the road right now to Alamogordo, New Mexico, from Carrizozo, New Mexico. And uh, yeah, to me, this is a really pretty drive. And uh, Oliver League State Park is a nice state park. I've been there several times. It'll be a little warm there today, probably right at 90 uh, for the highs and then the lows will be somewhere in the 60s, probably mid, maybe, maybe low 60s, I'm not sure. It'll be nice, it'll be okay. And then when I get to Texas, it'll be 90 and 70. So anyway, guys, from on the road, thumbs up, car, pay them, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and then buy whatever you want. Drink plenty of water. Yeah, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. Drink plenty of water. Yeah. And uh, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. You know, breathe in deep. Breathe out slowly. That relieves stress. Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good? Hell yeah. And then uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, there's so much stuff going on now that's phony, baloney, that you better have a fence around your head. So anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.